comments, questions? When it comes to this defense, what, what are the characteristics that are going to separate it from the rest of the league when it all kind of comes together? Uh, I think we're able to do a lot of different things. Um, you know, I think uh, the coaches do a good job of putting together a scheme uh, where they can teach it the right way and, um, you know, the young guys kind of get it and the older guys try and uh, lead by example and, and, and piggyback off of the coaches. Um, that way, um, now that we're in camp, we kind of, yeah, everybody knows what to do and, you know, we got this thing rolling a little bit. How, how is Paul Gunther as a uh, teacher, is he pretty good at uh, definitely probably the best, one of the best around uh, that I've been in in my eight years. Uh, just getting guys to understand, um, you know, whatever their role is on this defense or a certain coverage uh, uh, or whatever scheme that it is, um, you know, probably the best that I've been around at getting guys to learn a scheme and learning how to, and, and, and being able to teach it the right way. He said he likes your knowledge of, you know, so many different positions that he, he wants you to coach for him someday. Do you think that might be in your future? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it may be one day, but uh, right now I'm just trying to focus on uh, making this team and you know trying to do whatever I can to compete. What do you think about the coach saying that? That's kind of compliment saying that you're smart. What do you coach? Have you ever heard any coach say that to you? And what do you think on this? Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely uh, flattering. You know, it's definitely uh, something that you want to hear. Uh, but you know, it's one of those things where I just kind of try and keep my head down and just and just work. Mark's in a league that. Uh, Phases, phases, phases out veteran players a lot, at least a lot of teams do. Um, John, the first time he was here, and now again this time, brought a lot of guys in, seven, eight, nine-year veterans that pelts on the wall, so to speak, and he likes to have those guys in the meeting rooms. What, what have been, been your observations on, it, on, the, on the veterans that have brought in and, and how this team kind of respects veteran players? Uh, yeah, I think it's one of those things where it's, uh, it's a lot of veteran guys, but it's, it's a lot of veteran guys that can still play ball. Yeah. Um, and so we bring, I think we bring that aspect to the table as well as the knowledge and trying to get young guys and bring them along and try and um, teach them and help them as much as we can. Is it uh, challenging mentally that you could be playing safety one play, slot corner the next, and nickel backer the next, just kind of compartmentalizing all, all the different roles and the ways that you're used? Um, honestly, I've been doing it my, I've kind of been doing it my whole career, so uh, it's just natural, set. it's just, uh, it's like second nature to me. The Raiders are coming off of the season which they played under John Pagano, obviously you've played under Pagano, is that familiarity that you have with what they just came from, does that help you in terms of speaking the same language on some of the stuff that these guys did last year? Definitely, I think uh, just being in my tenure in the league, um, just being able to play a lot of different stuff, it helps you. Uh, be able to go on from next, from next game to the next game. A lot of the schemes are, are, are different, but in, but they're the same. The terminology is a little bit different, but a lot of the concepts of everything that you're trying to accomplish are a lot, a lot alike. As a veteran leader, what have some of the guys been saying about that transition from last year's defense to this one? Has there been anything that guys have gotten hung up on at all? No, yeah. it's just kind of we just focus on this year, really. Okay. Uh, you know, just trying to take take heed to whatever the coaches are trying to put in, and we, everybody's just trying to buy into this year. How much teaching have you had to do being familiar with this? Uh, you know, it was it's still a different defense for me. I had to. Uh, it was a learning, a little bit of a learning thing for me too, but. Uh, you know, the coaches do a really good job, like, uh, getting guys to understand the defense and teaching guys. And I think we're just kind of like the second tier guys that if they have a question here and there that, that we can help. You feel like the, the graduate instructor and the right, coaches right, right. professors like, well, here's how you do this. Yeah, some along those lines. Bruce was saying that the big thing from last year to this year is that guys don't have to think as much. What facilitates that? What, what is it about this defense that allows you guys to just play free? Uh, you know, I can't speak. I can't speak for last year, but uh, just like I was saying earlier, I think the coaches do a good job of teaching defense and 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 putting guys in a position and helping guys understand what their role is and whatever it is the defense that we're doing. So it allows guys to play a little bit faster. Gary's a little banged up right now, but obviously he has high expectations for himself. For Safety for Sean Melvin. What do you see that in terms of that quarterback duo? What it could be this season? Both very talented guys. Um, I mean, you can you can see it when we when we go out there and we do drills and then we get in team drills and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, guys are just out there working hard and it's just competing. All and that's what all our guys, everybody's competing. Do you think it's about Darion? Yeah, I mean, just a very athletic guy. Um, and to be a young guy, uh, he understands ball. 
understands splits, he understands routes, he understands combinations and stuff like that. So he's a young guy, but you can tell that he's got he's got football knowledge. Gruden's Tommy. fond of uh, talking with his defensive coordinator before practice, and they formulate this plan about what they're going to do against each other, and then they deviate from it. They kind of try and trick each other, and they and they try and foster an offense versus defense thing. Can you see that here more than maybe other places you've been? That the competition at practice to to try and beat the other unit is pretty keen here. Yeah, definitely is. I think it's kind of like it's always been a thing. But uh, I think more so because of the, the connection that those guys have. And, you know, I think those guys are really close. Uh, so being that they're really close, I think they compete a lot, uh, you know, and it, it trickles down to the players and it makes us uh, even more competitive. It's, it's obviously important for safeties to be on the same page. How, how is that level of um, communication going with Reggie and with Carl? And how do you kind of build that chemistry? Because you guys have to be ready to go in less than a month. Uh, I think just it just takes repetition. Um, it takes being with a guy. Uh, I think we all kind of know each other now. Uh, you know, sometimes where I may do something and then they can play off of it, and somebody else may do something and we know how to play off of it now. I think we've gotten to the point now where, you know, it's just that repetition has created a little bit more chemistry each and every day. Uh, another same thing I would say like about Gary on um, you can tell he understands ball like it's, it's 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 tough to come in this league and play in the nickel position with all of the different things that you have to be able to read and have to be able to cover and have to be able to be in the in the run fits and um, you can just tell by uh, you know the way he diagnoses plays that you know he has an understanding of being able to play the game. Uh, most definitely, yeah. But he's a de he's a quiet guy. But you know, you can tell he wants to know a lot of he wants to learn a lot because he'll ask questions. Not even just to to the players. He asks a lot of questions to coaches and the, the team room and all that type of stuff. All right, you guys all set. Thanks much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.